Come on, come on, come on. Wheels, go, go, wheels, go, wheels. Go, go, go. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to go. Trav stopped at one more Goodwill for me on the way home, and I'm getting this thing that looks like a piece of junk right now. It's got a little mirror. It's very dirty. That's pretty cool. I don't believe it's solid wood, but it would even look cool painted. Or just like this. Found this cute little tree. I could use that as a cloche. I was just watching Amber's stories and she did a bunch of cool things with glass things like this in the thrift store. If you guys aren't following her. So, we made it home. On the way home, at Goodwill, I had an urge. I normally don't have urges, not even at home. But you know how they say, like, when you get home from vacation, everything starts to flow in. I did fly style because I ain't sitting on that. And I think I pulled a rib. Has this happened to you? I feel more connected to you guys now. I mean, I know we've talked about other things down yonder, but never fly style. I haven't even done fly, fly style probably since high school. I mean, maybe when Trav and I first got married. After my cat came back from running away and then he had anorexia, he got caught in the cornfield. True story. And then the vet diagnosed him with anorexia. I guess that's a thing when they don't eat weeks he didn't have water how did we get here <laughs> but since we are here now I know you guys are gonna want to hear the rest of the story my cat ran away when I moved out I moved out to like move in with Trav and my mom and dad didn't even know chicken was gone until I came back from my honeymoon to visit chicken he was nowhere to be found and my dad's like oh maybe you got outside really you couldn't take care of my cat for one week and then I went home and cried for a couple weeks and all of a sudden chicken showed up at my parents doorstep they called me I came took him to the vet we nursed him back to health and long story short he lived with us in our it's in my back it's on this slide he lived with us for quite a few years until he got sick later and passed away but one story about chicken is we had this spiral staircase in the house that Trav and I first lived in, and he was the best cat ever. Okay, just let me add that in. He would lay at the top of the spiral staircase and then he'd fall asleep. And one night, Trav and I were watching TV and he just poof, fell to the, like, off the spiral staircase to the ground. But he caught himself with his feet. You know how cats, like, do the, it was the most amazing Another night, the Trav and I are laying in bed and we hear K -k 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 bang. We forgot we had left the window open. Chicken, he had nine lives. Seriously, he got hit on the road. He fell off the spiral staircase. He fell out my window. Fell from our upstairs window to the those things that open up and you go into the basement from outside. You don't know those? <laughs> yeah, probably not. We had one of those and it fell. He fell onto that and then got up, ran to the front door, and he was totally fine. One more thing about Chicken. His name was Charlie, but we called him Chicken before we closed this almost midnight session chat with Natalie. Um, he always wanted to get outside. He was an indoor cat because we 
force them to be one after he ended up getting hit on the road and then he'd always like have his first memory of being outside so he wanted to get outside and Trav would open the door he would run outside <laughs> and I would force Trav to go get him so <laughs> chicken would be under the big pine tree out back <laughs> Trav was like here chicken chicken did not like Trav and it's because Trav did not want him to live with us and he knew that that's why he was at my parents house and ran away and didn't come to our house initially the whole story oh so he's under the pine tree out back <laughs> and he would be like <laughs> and chicken would fight trav like <laughs> you know with the back of their feet like they do like that and <laughs> trav would gently bring chicken inside and then he would do it again it was like a game <laughs> Poor child. We need to put a cat on the shirt with all the furniture. I that was my favorite cat. We had him for 18 years. 18 years. He was like my my childhood cat. Okay, Trav said it's not called fly. It's called what? Air poopy. Air poopy. And he also reminded me of another story about chicken. Chicken loved Millers. So I would hold him up by the light because for some reason in my parents' house, we would have like 8,000 millers flying around the front light in our house. I don't even know where, I, where they all came from. And Charlie would want to eat them because we found this out because they would, we, they would get knocked to the ground and then he would eat them off the ground. So I would just hold him up and he would bat them from the sky to the ground, eat the miller, and then he'd barf them up all night. And that was like one of his favorite things he wanted to do it every night and every time he would barf but he kept doing it you don't know what a miller is <laughs> Trav tell him what a miller is We always called them Millers. You called them Millers. My mom called them Millers. Okay, so I showed you guys a picture of the table earlier. Great. Here it is. It um, has been a huge labor of love. It's taken me over three weeks to do this. Um, originally, I bought.